Oh, do you know who would like this? Who? All our Filipino friends, because it's got banana. Pinoy oh. yeah. pride. All right, guys, Ashley and I are on a food venture to make pickle rick, aka we, we only need like two ingredients. We are going to one of my favorite places in the whole world, the Little Tokyo Mall Plaza. You said you've never been here before. Well, I love anything Japanese. Oh, that's true. That's, that's right. You're a quarter Japanese. Not a lot of people know for some reason, but you are. Yeah, loud and proud. Oh my gosh, this is like Andrew was the other day in a Filipino supermarket. But it's yours, me. market. <laughs> Kit Kat. But green tea themed, or green tea flavored. Same. Oh, Halloween themed Pocky? What is this doing here? <laughs> All right, we are on the hunt to get nori. Why is nori good when you're making decorating food, Ashley? Why? Oh, uh, because it's easy to cut out, so it's easy to work with. What should we get? There's so many. This one's extra fancy. I mean, how fancy is pickle brick? Wah! <laughs> <laughs> Premium. Oh, okay. that one, you premium. See how much that one is? I know, that's what I was saying. Bucks. 16 bucks for Sorry. this. Sorry. Look, $2.49. $2.49. Much yeah. better deal. I am a bargain shopper shop. Tokyo Sunshine. This looks pretty good. You know what? You. Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought it said sunshine. It says sushi hane. <laughs> Whatever. You're my sunshine. Oh, and you're my sunshine. Uh -huh. You don't have Andrew running around just grabbing all the candy in here. Is he would, okay? by the way. Is it No. He in Japanese. This is your scene. This is my scene. This place Where's is my great? basket? <laughs> Hands up if you like kimchi. I think kimchi is the greatest thing on the planet. Look at this economy sized version. Yeah, it's Costco sized. And you can lift weights. Dang, you are you are again buff over here. <laughs> Bube throwback, but this is actually eggplant. But for all my purple bros out there. Look, it's my doggy, golden kiwi. Well, this is new. Kombucha on tap. This is very LA over here. This is like a whole, this is like literally a kombucha aisle. Look at this. It's like store, 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 kombucha aisle. Store, store, store. I would drink kombucha every day if I could, even if it cost $8 a bottle. For millionaires. <laughs> I, don't know, I would say like for thousandaires maybe, not millionaires. Okay, we, we came here for groceries, but really the most important store is coming up, isn't it, Ashley? Yeah. This is one of my favorite stores in the universe. Daiso Japan. It's that's the holy grail, dude. Can you tell it's October yet? Love it. Halloween's the best time of the year. Spooky. The premise of this store is that everything costs like a dollar fifty or less, but it's not a dollar store. It's it's higher tier. It's a higher class Ooh. of living. Japan's number one candy is nowhere to be found. Is currently America's number one candy. Oh. Ashley, I want you to name something just random that you would find in a house, and we'll see if it's at Daiso. Just Dusters. I want everyone that's watching this video right now to think of something that you would find in a household, and we'll see if we can find it at Daiso. For instance, did you know that you can get any any kind of laundry appliance? Didn't think so. How about some boxes? All different kinds of boxes. Isn't this like a, a squeegee? For the it's a duster, look. Microfiber duster. Ooh. Do you think you need a spout brush? Well, guess what? Daiso got you hooked up. Have you guys seen the new Tom Cruise action movie? The one where he's called Jack. Reacher? I bet you didn't think you could get yourself a dog collar. Dog beds. RB Stitch Edge sandals. That leopard print. The little panda bear. Oh, frogs. Combination mini wrench set. A drink holder that you put in your car. You were upset your car didn't have drink holders? Guess what, you can install one now. I bet you didn't think you could find a whole gardening section. <laughs> Yo, we might actually use these someday, popsicle makers. Whoa, what'd you get? Felt. Felt. Bet you didn't think you could find felt at Daiso. That's actually the reason why I came. Yeah? Get some craft yep. supplies? Well, they only had one color that I could use. That's all your color? This is so Thanksgiving, autumn right here. Yarn too? No, this is for felting. For felting? Felt. Wait, look, what? Look. I wish I could make like a little tape. Oh, <gasps> wait. Hold the phone. What is that? It's felting. It's a type of craft. Shows how much I know. Maybe if I learn how to do it, I'll make a kiwi and I'll make a tape. <gasps> you would make me so happy, Ashley. What would if you, you do made with me it? a little. I don't know. What I would, would treasure it. I would treasure it forever. Where would a felted kiwi go? Right by my bedside, so I'd wake up and see it every morning. Look at this decoration tape. It's cats. <laughs> it reminds me of like white out. That white elk. But it's cats instead. It's cats. How freaking funny. What do I need this for? Uh, what do you not need it for? Only $1.50, don't forget. Welcome to Daiso. A product all of us could use. Standing tube squeezer. Oh, for your toothpaste. Right? Hold Got up. a little crank. 
Earlier when we were walking in here, someone very dejectedly said, this place is depressing, I don't want to get out of here. I beg to differ. I wanted to ask them why so bad. I know, look how bright and happy this place is. I'm all about this place. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's just a boxing, oh, it's a pen. I'm not sure what this is exactly. Is it just a magnet? Yep. Hilarious. Oh, he has oh. a butt. It's nipping out over here. So cold in this bag, dude. Flavors here on point. We have every single flavor. Wow. Name a flavor, but we have it. Chocolate banana, what the Choc Oh, dude, you know who would like this? Yeah. All our Filipino friends, because it's oh. got banana. Yeah. Pinoy pork. Cookies and cream, matcha, just regular chocolate. Ultra slim, really long Why do you ones. Need ultra slim. I don't know. So you feel more classy when you eat your pocky. Ah. Oh, here is the knockoff pocky. Lucky. Lucky stick. Yeah. Dang. I didn't think you could find a miniature escape. Ooh Yo, you cool. You too cool for school. So we got a few more things from the grocery store outside of just seaweed. Instead of regular radish for his tongue, we got pickled radish. And for his eyeballs, we got little cheese sticks. I'm pretty excited. It's yeah. gonna be a Japanese themed pickle rick in honor of your heritage. Thank you. You're welcome. So we gotta figure out, we have a bunch of bags of pickles. We need to figure out which one of these is the, the most pickle rickish. I think this one's got a good shape to it. Let's get this guy going. Then we're just gonna cook up a tiny amount of rice. Whoa. Pickle rack! Right. Cook! So uh, I noticed that you're eating part of the pickle rick. What happened? Well, he wasn't standing straight, so I cut a little piece off. Oh, let's see if the side. Flat. What side should his face be on? The top side? I kinda like it on the thicker side. Whatever you think. This is right here. This is where pickle rick is gonna reside, okay. right there. Ooh, how did you make such a perfect little circle here? A tip. Oh, piping tip. Piping tip on some string cheese and yeah. boop, boop, just like that. Perfect little pickle rick eyeball. Check these out. These are food tweezers. Very cool. There's pickle rick one. All pickle right. rick two. Alright, what about something like this? Ooh, that looks great. Do we got it? I think we got it. We just oh, need a color. Yeah. That is looking pretty good. A little nori mouth. A little dab of water you're gonna play with? Yeah, a little dab of water on top. He made Pickle Rick. Yeah. Honestly, the most important thing was the paintbrush. Yes. At the, by the end, I was using the paintbrush to put the teeth on. I was using it to help me like do everything with Pickle Rick. But look at this guy. Isn't he cute? I don't know if cute's the right word. He looks pretty accurate. So yeah, gotta accurate say, to the show. job well done. Good job. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked about this Pickle Rick. <laughs> I know, this is nuts. I'm the guy that, that thinks this is a good idea. Ah! <laughs> Job well done. What a glow up, that Rick. That's and, food art, guys. Into pickle art, yeah. That um, is something you will see by some Instagram artist. Me. Him. He's starting a new Instagram food art page. <laughs> I would never. The amount. It took me 30 minutes just to make that, and that was not worth it. It's a true masterpiece. <laughs> what you mean? It's a true masterpiece. All right, all right. It was a masterpiece. It was a masterpiece. Thank you. That's yes, very kind of you to say. It is. But stay tuned because we have eye holes from Rick and Morty coming up next time on Feast yes, of Fiction. Another true masterpiece. It was an old recipe, so that's why it's not going to have as many behind the scenes little tidbits. But we oh. finally released it. We were waiting for season three to came, come out, and then Szechuan sauce happened, and then Pickle Rick happened. So. We're finally doing it. We are. Yeah, that was a good recipe though. It was, it, it was so fun. Talk about actual, like accurate to the show. Yummy. We, they are delicious and they look exactly like they do. So we can't wait for you guys to see it. Keep on pickling. Yep, and I hope this episode was good for your eye holes. <laughs>